Hi guys, um, I'm recording this video because some of you have asked me um, a question uh, how to avoid protected page from showing up for that one little second if user is not logged in and I will run my user login and registration example to show you what I mean okay my app starts and you see, did you see that uh, protected page did show up for a second and then it got um, overlaid by login view I'll run it one more time and uh, again protected page uh, got displayed uh, and then a second after it got replaced uh, got overlaid by login view so I have prepared a little example to show you how to uh, set your um, window root view controller based on a condition if user is logged in then we um, display protected page and if user is not logged in then we display login page and um, no pages flash for a second okay so I have um, uh, a new project here and uh, this is a very simple project and the, uh, the purpose of this example is to uh, simply show you how to set um, the uh, root view uh, of your window to a needed view okay so I will run this example to show you how it works okay user is not logged in and I see login page now uh, if I log in I am not uh, I'm not checking username and password so there is no business logic behind I'm not sending information to the server side I just assume provided information is correct and user gets successfully logged in I log in and I see protected page now when I stop the app and I start it again I will see protected page right away because user is logged in I stop the app I run it again I see protected page now when I log out I see login page and I stop the app I run it again and I see login page right away so there is no flashing uh, protected page does not flash for a second and uh, I'm going to show you how I did it okay uh, very important uh, piece of code is inside of application app um, uh, delegate so uh, in your function deep finish launching with options uh, you this is the magic code that you want to have and what it does is this you need to get hold of your a root view controller and you do that you access it from the uh, window object I read from um, a user defaults um, if user is logged in I have a flag when I tap on login button I put into user defaults a boolean value of true that user is logged in and then I check if user is logged uh, if a user is not logged in then I access main storyboard instantiate my view and then here's the magic code uh, I access root view controller of the window object and I set it to login view controller and otherwise if user is logged in then I need to display protected page so I access main storyboard I instantiate view controller um, of my protected page and then I set the, the root view controller of the main window to that protected page and basically this is the code that uh, is responsible uh, for switching between views when application starts so when I start application this is the condition that switches between these two views now my uh, logout button does something similar so if I go to my uh, main storyboard and uh, here's my logout uh, button I will um, turn on assistant editor and I'll show you how it works there is code I don't need uh, okay so when I tap logout button uh, this code gets executed so basically what I do here I uh, first set the flag 
that use, uh, user login status is false and then I put it into user defaults so I can access it in my application delegate then I need to switch from protected page to a lo login view and what I do I first instantiate my login view I access a storyboard I instantiate the login view controller and then I need to set my a root view controller of the main window to, to my login view controller so I uh, this is the magic code that does it I access my app delegate and through app delegate I can access my window main window and I access root view controller and I set the new uh, login view controller to my main window and this is how I switch from a protected page to login view and the login button works very similar uh, if I go to login view controller when I tap on login view I do exactly the same thing uh, first of all um, I set the flag for user login status to true now uh, assuming that user information is correct and everything is okay with this user I set it to true and then now I need to switch from login view to my uh, protected page view now my protected page view um, uh, uh, the view controller responsible for protected view page is called simply view controller Your, yours can be different but uh, I instantiate view controller and then I um, access my application delegate and uh, from application delegate using application delegate I access window and I access root, root view controller and I set uh, the root view controller of my window to protected page and basically the same code um, that helps me switch from view to view and um, it works and uh, we don't see those uh, flashing of protected page or uh, login page even for a second log out log in log out so, and if I start it again uh, protected page will not be visible and I um, start with login page right away this is it uh, I hope this video was helpful and if you have questions please ask me uh, in your comments below and I will do my best uh, to get uh, to you as soon as possible thank you guys